Mike's Daily Podcast. F -F -F episode 1070. You know, when I boost my mic up really loud, I hear me through your mic, so. Hey, it's Mike Matthews! <laughs> Welcome to the podcast today! Ah, look, I'm talking through Haley the Semi's microphone. We like to play with our technical equipment that doesn't sound right. <laughs> also, I'm here in Mike's Daily Podcast. Really loud. You're talking over the, the singing part where we go, Mike's Daily Podcast. Okay, I don't want to do that weird phasing thing, so I'm going to just talk into my microphone and turn yours off. We have lots of fun doing this podcast, and we like hops. No way I do, because I like it in my beer. And then sometimes I'll sing about things like Everclear. They were a great band. They did songs. Let's go down to the ocean. Mike's Daily Podcast. And uh, everything is wonderful now. Da -da 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 -da. Mike's Daily Podcast. Daily <laughs> Podcast. Okay, I'm going to turn your mic yeah. off now. Spoilers. Okay. <laughs> You're just going to make unwanted noise with your microphone, and that's just not cool on my podcast show thing. <sighs> Haley is f***ing with me today. <laughs> so f***ing with me. Oh, hey, my microphone is on. Okay, hi. I wasn't sure if it was on or not. <laughs> Okay. I wasn't going to talk unless it was on. I know. That makes sense. So yesterday's show, we found out, about, uh, found out uh, all about noise music. Yes. And today we made a little bit of noise in the beginning of our podcast. You went shoobity boop bop. I had to adjust my microphone. shoobity doo bop boop -a -lap boop beat up bop Do any of your friends listen to the show? No. How about your enemies? No. Last show, we talked about the uh, things. And, 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 uh. Last like, show, we had a lively discussion about a, um, malady of. That's not the right word. Malady of topics. Is it the right word? We could just walk in. Well, you guys are like all over the place today. That's true, Shelley. We are a little bit. We're, we're not as focused on Tuesdays as we usually are on other days. <laughs> How can we move at a steady pace if we don't do not first stand still? Wow, that was Shakespearean. Do you like your mic volume? My mic volume. Maybe I should just shove the mic in my face like you do. Maybe we should just talk like this constantly. All right, let's do that. Okay, we'll just be really loud the entire podcast. Okay. Here. But your volume is louder than mine. I keep telling you. Are you getting self-conscious about it? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Fantastic Beasts. What did you think of the trailer to that uh, new... J.K. Rowling. Look who else is walking in. I only saw the initial trailer, the one before this one. Um, I don't care. Is and I will continue to not care. You know, what I, you know what I think? What? I'm glad no more goofy glasses. Oh, like 3D things? I've just... I was sick of the kid with the glasses. I want now this show, this... Uh, Oh, the kid with the glasses. This, ah, ah that, the, that, that, that furry pottery guy. Exactly, that pottery barn guy. Mm -hmm. And now, this movie looks like nobody's wearing glasses, and everyone seems to be from New York. As everyone knows, no one in New York wears glasses. That's true. It's a fact. Look mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. It's in everything in every database. So that was an interesting uh, movie. So that trailer. was an interesting podcast, anyway. <laughs> but I have topics here, and look, it's Floyd the Floor Man and John Deere the Engineer. Hello, Haley. It's Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere the Engineer. Haley, it's good to talk to you. Haley, can you help us 
with our argument that we're having now. What? Well, I'm for Bernie Sanders! And I'm for Hillary. So we get mad at each other! What should we do? You do realize that, like, Hillary should be in court. Hillary should be in jail. I don't know how she's gotten this far. Yeah! Yeah, John Deere! Yeah, take she's that! She's got, like, active accusations against her. Well, Bernie is going to take the country and shove it inside of an elephant's butt. That sounds comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I was listening to Garrison Keillor's show, A Prairie Home Companion, and he does these things where he talks off the top of his head, which we don't do. We write everything down. Like, we wrote all that down. Yeah, we wasted time writing all that down. You wasted time writing that down. You know, you did. Because I'm in first grade and you're in kindergarten. Because I'm older than you. I just wasted time drinking more coffee. I just wasted time making the sentence start. I just wasted time. But what happened was... There was a, a wonderful part in his show where he, there's a guy, the character, he's telling, he tells stories about Lake Wobegon. Lake Wobegon? Which is a mythical place. Right. And he tells stories about different characters that live there. And one of them was about a guy who was a student driver uh, teacher, teaches the students to drive. Oh, okay. And a driving instructor. That would be the proper word, tame, name, for that. And then the guy falls asleep, and he wakes up next to a circus, and an elephant has stuck his trunk into the car window and is um, grabbing his french fries that he has on his dash from McDonald's. Damn. And he describes it as a large... He says, he awoke and felt this large hairy arm near him. But it turned out to be an elephant's trunk. That sounds exhilarating. It was beautiful. And then I switched the channel to some song by X Ambassadors. Hey, hey, hey. Living like a renegade. Here's who the red about. The red and the cool kids. Kubrick's. Spielberg's. Spielberg's and Kubrick's. I was at Costco yesterday. And it was crazy bad crazy crazy bad crazy and there was what that that sounds like it could be an alice cooper album or like a world tour crazy bad crazy crazy bad crazy hello welcome to the alice cooper experience so have you heard that basically anyone that has ever actually known and worked with Alice Cooper knows him as the most, like, rational and sane person. Like, mellow, well-mannered, cool guy. Except when he's on stage. Yes. That's a persona that... I've heard him in interviews. He says that's a whole persona he created. Yeah, it's just great that it's so... uh, Outlandish compared to who he actually is. He used to host a syndicated nighttime radio show that got played on a lot of classic rock stations, and he would talk to people and stuff, do kind of like what we're, what we're doing. And he was very interesting. You know, he actually. Did you ever see Wayne's World? Yeah. And they go backstage. And right. And then he was just himself in that movie. Yeah. He was just like, hey guys. And he starts talking about Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. That's how he really is. Costco should be called Cosplay Co. No. All right. Here's my other thing. (laughs) Oh, and then Haley got to see me get all bent out of shape because of my weekend job. Mm Hmm. You know, I took a weekend job because, oh, I thought it's going to be calm. I can work on my podcast and all that. And then they make me spend like three hours hunting around for a commercial. 
I mean, we all hate commercials to begin yeah. with. Yeah. We kind of need them in radio, though. Yeah. They pay for things. But it kind of sucks to have to... Ha- they want to just tell me where the damn commercial is, and then I'll be able to put it into the system. That was a technical... Was I- Did I get too technical on my show? Why doesn't our podcast have commercials? Anyway... There's a podcast. You know what? I'll tell you something. I I don't like podcasts that start off with a commercial at the beginning. Well, it doesn't have to start off with a commercial. It can be somewhere in the middle. Like right here, for instance. We'll be right back. Ever wonder what that weird powdery stuff is that comes out of your nose? Gosh, what is that? Maybe you're doing too much cocaine. Oh, that's probably it. Maybe you're turning into cocaine. I am cocaine. If that's true, you're turning into an awesome song by Eric Clapton. Oh, yeah. The blues. That was a great (laughs) (laughs) And we're back. (laughs) And we're back. All right. This is so amusing. Eric Clapton's new album. Probably out in stores back when it came out. (laughs) Megan Fox is uh, pregnant. We're getting to hard news now. Really? Megan Fox. (laughs) Breaking news. Megan Fox is pregnant. We go to Mike Matthews for the full story. Hello, I am Mike Matthews. Megan Trainer, I mean Fox. Damn it! Start, st- start over. What? We're live. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this report comes to you. Cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. From cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine. It's not just in coke anymore. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I sleep too much? <laughs> well, we have the solution for you. No wait. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I sleep too much? Have you ever wanted to have sex with lots and lots of women? Do you wear business suits just for fun? Well, we have the exact product for you. It's white. It's powdery. It's associated with the TV show Vinyl. (laughs) I still haven't really watched them yet. No. Robin Williams used to say, cocaine is God's way of saying, you make too much money. (laughs) I was discussing, like, tiers of drugs compared to social status with oh. with my girlfriend the other day. Uh-huh. Because cause meth. Meth is trailer park in the South. Drug. The drug of choice. Uh, no teeth. Right. Food stamps. Yes. Cocaine is Wall Street, you know, running Running on the streets of New York, mm. hookers, champagne, a really shiny briefcase, yeah, business suits, a Lexus. They're listening to rap. They're listening to rap for some reason? Yeah. They weren't listening to rap when they started doing cocaine. <laughs> they also They're... weren't, like, in New York. Yeah. They started in Massachusetts. And they were wearing a, a polo shirt. Yeah. <sighs> America. And it was three months ago. Crazy. What did she say to all that? She's like, oh. <laughs> now she just heard it again. And she was brought into the podcast vicariously. Vicariously. <laughs> There's a podcast that I enjoy called Stuff Your Mother Never Told You. Right. You have talked about it previously on this podcast because we're meta. What the hell does meta mean? Are you calling me a metaphetamine? <laughs> I just rhymed. I made a, I'm a nursery rhyme. I'd like to apologize for the first half of this show. <laughs> The second half is going to pick up speed and is going to kick serious ass. It really isn't. We're never going to get past all that cocaine stuff. <laughs> Talk. Anyway, Stuff Your Mother Never Told You is hosted by two girls from Atlanta. Stuff Your Mother Never Told You. Do cocaine. 
and they talk about um, tanning in their latest episode. Right. And the the whole banter between the two of them at the beginning is so fun because they're both complaining about how white they are and about how society is all about being tan and looking like Kim Kardashian. Even though the reason why she uh, her skin tone comes from her. Um, Ethnicity. Arme- Armenian yeah. ethnicity. That's what people don't get is like skin tone is largely from ethnicity. So you can't simultaneously like be white and be tan. It just won't work for you. You're going to mm-hmm. look horrible. Mm-hmm. You're going to hurt yourself. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be racist. <laughs> don't be racist. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. Well put, Haley. I'm glad your mic has stronger volume than mine. For that reason. I'm glad you solved that political discussion between Floyd and John Deere. I don't think I solved anything. You just incited it. You just got it going more fervor. I am an insider. Do you know you sound exactly like Jay Sekulow when you start talking like that about Hillary? Really? Yeah. That's that, great. I love it. You have something in common with that weird Republican conservative nutto. I love it. Nutter. 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 I can rationally do arguments and I can rationally, you know, have discussions and stuff, but it's it's a lot more fun to do the Jay Sekulow, you know. You know, she should she she should be in a court of law right now wearing an orange jumpsuit. She is out on the campaign field. She's going around the country. But really, she should be behind bars because she betrayed the United States of America in Benghazi and the sending of those emails and a bunch of other stuff. So, listen, listen, folks, listen, folks. You, you need to go onto our Facebook, go on a Periscope. We got a petition. We need you to sign this petition right now, and we'll be right back. <laughs> That's exactly the show, which I have to hear every day. I love it. Hey, um, here's something I'm really uh, upset about. Please. Want to hear my my vitriol? Yes, yes, I do want to hear your vitriol. I'm so mad at the iTunes podcast app. Do you listen to podcasts to your iPhone or to your Samsung Uh, or your Motorola? Not really. Okay, that's how I listen to podcasts is yeah. through my iPhone. Uh, if they're on SoundCloud, I will sometimes. Okay. Because I have a SoundCloud app. Oh, see, I never uploaded to SoundCloud. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, darn. Oh, tell me. Oh, man. Give me that juicy, juicy <laughs> gossip. What the hell was that? Uh... I should have put the new interview I did with the go-ahead on SoundCloud like I usually do. But I got so rushed on Sunday with all the having to look for spots and everything. Anyway, I would like to recant my complaint about bands not posting their my interviews with them on their Facebook pages. Because apparently they do. And I was wrong. And I can't say I'm sorry enough. And then they listened to that podcast where you complained about it. Luckily, I put that at the very end, and as we know, no one listens to the end. No one listens past the part where we mentioned cocaine. (laughs) So, we're okay. We're in the clear. Woo! All right. Hey, the girl that I had on when I talked to her at a dog park, not the crazy one that was uh, an alcoholic, the other one that was the daughter of a pre- priest, that <laughs> it's not possible. Well, it is possible, but that's not true. She's the daughter of a preacher man. The only one who could ever save me was the daughter of a preacher man. The only one who could ever reach me was the daughter of a preacher man. Yes, she was. Oh, no, she was. I'm so sorry. We went outside. Did you notice that? We went outside Cafe anyway so we could sing. Oh, that's what I wanted to play you. Ooh. I'll play it for you after the show. But, dear listener, I don't want to play it for you now because I'll get dinged by YouTube. And I hate the YouTube dinging me. But remember that song by YouTube? 
I, I, wait, I talked about YouTube and now I'm talking about YouTube. That's, I'm confusing myself. But they had that song, Desire Lover out on the street. And the bright lights and the city me with the red guitar on fire. Desire. Anyway. Vaguely. It's a great song by them. They never play it anymore. I've never listened to you two really anyway. Well, Why do you get to swear all, 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 <laughs> all over the place in this podcast? Well, you can swear too. Just you got to give me a big sign that you do it because I got to then mark it on the computer. And then I forget sometimes. You're about to do <laughs> he put up a big thumbs up sign when he did that. Hey, Mike, I'm about to say the word. <laughs> <laughs> We're a clean podcast because we took all those out. And anyway. one of our tags is family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure kids are hearing all these words, but not. not they're not hearing the words because I bleeped them. Yes. Unless I missed one of those. You might have. Oh, Anyways, uh, so there was a, somebody took that two and a half minute song. It's a short U2 song because they, they were all inspired by the Memphis sound. They recorded it at Sun Records in Memphis. Nice. Somebody took it back in the 80s, right after that song came out, did a cool five minute version mm-hmm. and you hear this pew, 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 going back and forth in your ears and it's like a car alarm. <laughs> And you hear, and you hear Reagan going. Oh no, it's not Reagan, but somebody going voodoo economics, voodoo economics, and it was totally like your noise, uh, de manic mechanique that you were talking about yesterday. <laughs> your noise concrete, your music concrete. I'm going to assume it's not, but I appreciate that you're trying to. <laughs> I'm gonna play it for you. And you're gonna agree with me, and everything's gonna be great. And I'm gonna keep talking like this where I splurge my words together. Shelly, did you want to say something? Mike Matthews, I would never do cocaine. That's like bad for you. Stuff. That's true. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. And here's today's podcast picture. Hey, Mike, what's the podcast picture? Well, I'm glad you asked. Hey, Mike, what's the podcast picture? Pick, pick, pick. What's the, what's the Presbyterian podcast picture? What's the problem with lisping anyway? Lisping just a couple extra S's. <laughs> You're having issues with your. Issues. Is your tongue flying out of your face right now? Cat got my tongue. Hey, did you hear that story about cats? And that they are um, really smart. Yes. But do you know what animal is smarter than cats? Hyenas? Octopus. Really? Octopi are extremely intelligent. What's your favorite James Bond movie? Octopussy? No. Okay. How about this picture? <laughs> That's a wonderful picture. I love it. How come it's, it's black? Oh, uh, oh, there it is. There's actual things. Oh, I hate it now. It was better when it was just a black screen with don't... a tiny little cursor in the middle. <sighs> I try to please, and all I get is grief. See, that's the thing in life. You just, you can't, the only person you can please is please yourself. And that's from the song by Ricky Nelson called Garden Party. Oh, what about the Beatles? You can please please me. Oh. I hadn't thought about that one. Do talk more about the Beatles. You never talk about them. Go ahead. What? What do you mean? (laughs) I don't talk to the, about them near close to what I used to talk to about them because I went through a whole Beatles phase. What does Becca I, think about the Beatles as you turn into a Russian? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of got a, a cool late John Lennon hairdo going on with yeah. your with all your hair. It's a little bit more George Harrison. I'm not going to lie, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you look very George Harrison now. I, for a time, for a time in high school, I had my profile picture on Facebook set to a picture of George Harrison from 67, I believe. All those years ago. Right. And 
and I would have to point out to people that it wasn't me before they realized it wasn't me. Whoa! So you were being confused for George Harrison. Yes, it, we looked quite similar with the hairstyles and the bushy eyebrows. That one? That's nice. With the boats? That's a boat. That's also a boat. And there's other numerous boats. Or should I just try and draw a cartoon today? I don't care! I'm full of indecision. But one thing I can decide on is that this has been an informative show. You know, Mike, sometimes you and I, we disagree. But the one thing we can, we can decide on is a nice line of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> cocaine. It's good for the heart. It's good for the soul. It's good for dying early. Pick up some today from your local shady black market. <laughs> I'm so scared you know so much about cocaine at your young age. <laughs> what do you mean? I Oh, and that guy we work with who's like in his 60s, who's been in radio forever, and he's like been in country radio apparently he experienced a lot of parties that had cocaine yeah he i wouldn't doubt it he didn't dabble in it but so he says but i don't remember that when i was in country radio all the cocaine well you missed out i guess dang all right i'm gonna go with this boat picture boats boats and hoes <laughs> boats before bros boats before bros so, yeah. so beautiful out here. Next show, we're going to bring you Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. It's going to be a great time. Everyone's going to party. Party Thank- all night long. All night. Yeah. Thank you, Haley, for being on today's show. Going to take a holiday. Okay, now you're just making up. Just some time to celebrate. Oh, stop with the um, Madonna. Please. I, don't, don't. <laughs> I have had... Okay, over the last couple of days, I've had, like, the three most popular Sheryl Crow songs stuck in my head alternating. Like, every day is a winding road. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I want to suck up the sun. Yeah, you like those, too. And then the that one outro music of the song, I can't remember the name of, that's just... I don't know. What, what is that? Uh, I... Are you are you, are, you, are you doing the one where she's talking about the car wash? All I want to do. All I want to do is have some fun. Yes, I am. Okay. The slide guitar, you know. Oh, that's right. Kevin Gilbert co-wrote that song, and he was in an awesome band called Toy Matinee. Interesting. But he killed himself. Oh. But he was from the Bay Area. So it's okay. Wait. The cocaine may have been involved. I don't know. Cocaine might have been. You know what my favorite Shell Crow album is? The Globe Sessions. Interesting. I think the, um, You're My Best Mistake is I've on there. I've never listened to her aside from the singles. That was her single. My Greatest Mistake was a big song for her. I hate it. No, I don't know. I don't know if I've heard it. Well, I think your mom was pinning the other side of your diaper when it came out. Probably. Because you're young and you know about cocaine now, which scares me. Uh, you're my greatest mistake. Are you just going to name this show Cocaine? <laughs> I'm going to name it White Powder. <laughs> no, that sounds too much like that something else. That sounds way too much like something else. And do I'm, not do that. And I'm bald, and that's just wrong. It so. really is. 
We'll come up with an interesting name, which the listener will know what the name is, because that's what the title is on the show right And now. then they'll listen to this, and they'll be like, what a bunch of idiots discussing the name of the show and the end of the show, and the show has already been named, because I can see the name of the show right there. We love you guys. <laughs> Thank you for listening. If you'd like to sponsor the show, please <laughs> let me know, because right now cocaine is all that's sponsoring us, and... We seriously don't endorse it, and we don't condone it in any way. It's bad for you. <laughs> we don't. We don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. The white lines <laughs> going through my mind. What a catchy little chorus that song was. That was the song when it played at dances. All the girls went, oh, my God, they just dropped some serious Eminem. <laughs> That's like, I was comparing it to what it would be like later on when Eminem would play, you know, I'm sure at dances, mm-hmm. girls go crazy because it's like, oh, that's bad and bad, bad music. Right. It's nasty. It's there isn't that many songs, comparatively speaking, if you compare the amount of songs about cocaine compared to the amount of songs about heroin. Wait, there's more about cocaine? There's more about heroin. Really? I believe so, yeah. It seems to be more of a thing. I know uh, Patty Smith has that song. I'm dancing barefoot, something, something. And she mentions heroin in the chorus. Yeah. And then, of course, there's a song actually called Heroin by Which, the Velvet Underground. You brought Velvet Underground again! Ding, of course ding, I ding, did. ding, ding, ding. And then um, The Laws. There she goes. Oh, that's supposed to be about heroin. People say it's about heroin. I don't think it's been confirmed. But it makes it even weirder that Sixpence None the Richer covered it. Yeah. Because Lee Nash. She's so sweet and innocent. There she goes. Former because, Christian like, artist, too. Former Christian artist. She met her husband at like a Christian getaway mm. event weekend thing. Mm. And she's in the band and she has a song that can either be in, like, it's either about drugs or about lesbians. And, like, there's no other way to interpret that song uh, the way she, that, that she sings it. There she goes. Yeah, she sings There that. she goes again. Good for her to take little chances like that in her career. And now it's she's all bluegrass strange. and stuff. Is she? That's nice. I'm glad she's doing well. She's got a beautiful voice. She really does. I've got a bunch of Christmas songs from her, too. I love Christmas. Every oh, really. every Christmas yeah. I listen to those songs, and I dance around in this white powder. <laughs> it doesn't snow in California. <laughs> Not that kind of snow, my friend. Snow, it, 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 bl- it snows blow? Uh. Oh, I get it. <sighs> Shall we end the show here? Why do you ask that? <laughs> because I want to know if I should stop the... T- Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.